So today we're doing something a little different, which is very exciting. Um, we're going to do some... I didn't get the memo. What's well, happening, Jen? <laughs> well, usually you're so much more prepared than I am. <laughs> you're like, here are my questions. And I'm like... Me prepared? I'm like, let's just have a conversation. I just looked at the camera by accident. Yeah. You're not prepared. <laughs> Don't look at the camera. You know better. Um, so what we're going to do is I put a little something on, on the old IG... And uh, we're gonna answer some fan questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's see. Let's see how well I can. Oh, shut up, Instagram me. Be quiet. I don't want to hear it. Okay. So, um, oh, Anastasia zero four X O asks, would you consider filming a new season showing the grown up version of the characters? Yeah, of course. Yes, Anastasia. Uh, oh shit. Am I supposed to answer? Or yes. We both answer. Yeah, we both answer. We yes. both answer. No, I'm I would in. love to. Yours would be where would where would Jerry be right now? Uh inside of a sandwich. Inside um, <laughs> He I, would be a sandwich. I think he I mean listen, he's gonna be trying to do something to make money. You know, sure. Because uh, that's what I would be doing. Yeah. And um I, I don't know if it's going to be a series. I think it's going to be a special or a Probably. Movie. It would be hard to get... It's hard enough to get us all in one place for dinner. Right. So considering that, right. um, getting us all in one place for another season might be really tricky. But I agree with you. I yes. think a special is the way to go. Reunion, reunion. God bless you. <laughs> There's a lot of questions about the revival, reunion, all of that. So we will get to that. Yes. Um. Uh, Sel- I can never say this. The Selenation... Selena. No. I, I, <laughs> shut up. Shut <laughs> up. It's funny. No, but like all of her like fan accounts are things like Selena Nation and stuff. This one right. is Selena Nation. Selena Nation. Cell Cell Nation. Cell Nation. Cell That's Nation. what it is. Sorry, I don't know buddy. why I had such a thing about that. Cell Nation underscore Rise asks favorite catchphrase said by your character. You I'm, there? It's yeah, Alex. I mean, I mean, I mean it's in- yeah. Harper didn't really have a catchphrase, but that one brings me so much joy every time we do it. So it's probably one of my favorite as well. Yeah, but I, I, love I that just one. I hear you when you. Move. I hear you getting excited about this. You, know, you know, what's so funny to me is, especially when they bring up like the Harper and Justin crush mm-hmm. in the pilot that no one ever saw, the Amazing O'Malley's, they, right. they put Harper, sees Justin and gets so excited she honks. And so I remember Peter coming up to me, not Peter, because it wasn't, was it Peter? I don't know. My memory is trash. Um, but it was something where like they came up to me and they said, just do it. And I'm like, what does this mean? She honks. And they said, do it that what you will. And so I remember, and I'm going to butcher it, but I remember like getting, using the nerves from the situation and not knowing what I was going to do because it was something slid to me right, right at the time. And I just went, like that or something. Like I just made, and they were like, sure, why not? You did that on the show later. Did I? You did, yeah. Did like, I honk? Oh, and you, you, Where I like you my went, body you, like short circuited? Yeah, when you were uncomfortable and then you, you walked out, I Maybe think. I did. I can't believe way, I don't remember When I honking. was going to go do the show, they sent me a copy of the Amazing O'Malley's. And you're like, who's this so redhead? Get I, her out of here. I have a DVD somewhere. Of do that. you really? And, yeah, it's somewhere. I've never seen it. I, as I hold on to things. I, I mean, know? I think maybe I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I haven't seen the full pilot. So if you have it, it, I will come to your house and and we will watch it with Tony and Yulia. Now wait, pause on the whole thing because I asked my wife to ask a question. Oh, she did? Oh, yeah. Yulia is the best. Well, first of all, I said, do you have any questions about uh, lizards? Because I was doing talk (laughs) to And she said, lizards or wizards? And so... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> if she had asked a question, so the salamander, I'd be, I'd be pissing myself. What would know. your memoirs be named? What the characters' memoir? Yeah. Um, because you were saying that her future Harper was yeah, she writing, writes, but she writes, but it's not a memoir. She's writing like young adult novels. Okay. Um, I think Harper's memoir would have to be something like dressing magic or uh, something oh that's so cheesy i hate that no, so much I like that. can i dressing shove that magic. back in my mouth no that was good something like that dressing magic or something okay, i don't one know one more question if you well, have well, a it's wizard your memoir. um that's two not... poops and a pee what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> okay what was the other question uh, 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 if you had a wizard superpower what would it be oh oh um to read people's minds it would calm my like what social am I anxiety. Right now? I can't i can't do it i'm not magical <laughs> they remind me of that all the time um, uh, yeah, that I was, I, but yeah, to read people's minds, I would love, if it, I can turn it off. Okay. Why is it when they say like, would you rather be, uh, invisible or fly? Why is those the I two things, right? You know what I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's that. always invisible or fly. Cause why I think it's, I, I, I think it's easy. I think it's like, are you really, you know, are you a peeping Tom or do you like to, like, to fly? <laughs> to fly. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Jen, Jen's doing a David Deloise here because you just made yourself laugh. I did. Right? I did make myself laugh. I did. <laughs> I'm trying it's to infectious. think. It's infectious. Superpower. Um, yeah. What, what, what wizard's power would you have? We're not super. We're happy. just magic. Just to be happy all the time. I love that. About that. Or to make the world. I would end hunger. You know, people have brain damage that are happy all the time. We just have to hit you at the right place. Okay, yes, you're certainly <laughs> in the right place. Okay, let's move on. Okay, all right, all right. Um, all right, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, that's very sweet. Uh, Waiter Rogers, 67, says, not a question. Just want to say you and David are my favorite. Always smiled when I see you. Oh, that's really thank sweet. you. That's really sweet. Yeah, that um, makes me feel good. Oh, this is a good one. Rachel, uh, 14.02 says, hi, guys, if you could have played another character, who would you have played? Mm, Harper Finkel. And you were so blowing smoke up my ass. Who would you play? Uh, just so for anybody who's not watching, that's not really happening. No. Um, <laughs> so HR? I'm HR? Typically, I'm typically comic relief. I'm the best friend of the friend. I yeah. mean, like, you know, I, you. I oh, would be, really? Oh. I mean, but as me playing So you, you wearing fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I'm such a ham. Yes. I love it. I love it. You wearing you and who, ham. You can't say me. I'm not going to say, I wasn't going to say you. I'm sorry. I mean, you did audition I, for Alex, I did. Right? I did audition for, I thought you were going to say, you did audition for Jerry. I'm like, yeah, I weirdly <laughs> did not get the part. Um, no, Max. Max. Um, I, I, I love, I love that Max is not bothered by anything. And he is. Well, he's not the brightest. He's not the brightest, but I, I, I love, he's so endearing of a, as a character. And I think it's so much fun for me, I think it's so much fun and such a challenge for to because you have to be smart to play stupid, right. right? You can't be an idiot to play stupid because you still have to understand the beats and everything of right. comedy. You have to understand where the joke is, where to take the air out. So to me, that would be such a fun challenge. I love that, and it's interesting because the character of Max doesn't know he's not smart. You yeah, know what I mean, well, that's he the key of anyone. Is. Yeah, he thinks he is. You know, you look at like smart. Phoebe on Friends, who's not stupid, but she's just kind of an airhead. Right. But she doesn't know that she's an airhead. That's just that's just the world she lives in. So that's why it takes like a smart person to play stupid. So I think. Oh my god, the reunion! Really I fun. should be you. You will be Max. David will be Selena. Uh, and everyone Selena will be, be furious because they'll be like, "This is a mess." I just wanted to see my characters as they are. Oh my god. Um, okay, Charlotte G twelve seventeen asks favorite guest star memories. Well, I do have one guest star memory. Mm -hmm. Richard Lewis oh, was, was oh, came in yeah. and, and and like couldn't get his lines or didn't like it and left. Yeah, he left. And I know. Didn't tell I was anybody. so bummed that we and couldn't see that Fred all the way through. Willard. Oh my God! Came legend. In re yeah, re replaced him and had the big smile on his face. I don't remember his. I don't character remember the character name, either. But, but we'll but get there. I'm gonna go with this. Fred Willard came in, saved the day. Yeah. Nicest, sweetest, so funny, just yeah. genuinely good, good man. So that's. I we were so in. lucky with our guest stars. We had so many good ones. I mean, the, the, it was ridiculous. Remember when The Rock came in? We were like, you can't call him The I Rock. I don't remember you know, that like, The Rock came in. He I don't came, know if I was there. He shook my hand. His hand was like, his, oh, he's his, massive. his bicep was bigger than my entire body. I did like a watered down version of his leg day the other day, and yeah. I wanted to like jump out of a window. Well, it was weird. so he painful. Like, he eats like a, a dinner of 20 people. You know, but he, he's huge. He's, if I yeah, ate like that, you'd have to crane me out of a building. But I just thought, it was so funny that he, I mean, listen, we had a lot of guest stars and we'll get to them, but, but, uh, uh when he came on, they kept saying, you can't say the rock, you can't call him the Interesting. rock. Interesting. It was so, it was so funny. Which that was my, that was one of my, I was Jenny from the block and the rock because my last <laughs> name was stone. So in grade school, that was my, one of my nicknames uh -huh. was the rock and I hated it. Um, but who, one of my, one of my favorite was, like? and I'm gonna, cause I'm crap with names. Um, he was on the Carol Burnett show. Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Oh my God. Tim Conway and Rachel Dratch were two of the ones that I, because whenever we had like comedic like geniuses on, yeah. I was, to me, I was at school. I was at acting school. I could just sit back and watch and take it all in. And Tim was such a joy to, and Rachel was too. Yeah. And Rachel blew my mind because she, was asking me and like, how would you do this? Aww. Which my little like 14 year old brain was just like, pff, like, but Tim Conway was one because I wasn't in a ton of scenes with him. So I could just sit back and watch him. And yeah, it was such was a master class for me, especially with Wizards, you know, being my first comedy and being something that I still felt like a sponge with all of it. He was amazing. Yes. So funny. And, you know, Carol Burnett, that whole show I loved. Um, so, uh, 
All right, let's see. And then I see yours. Of you are. So, what did I say? You are so fishing. What did, what, Who's what your favorite character? It's oh Jerry god. Russo. What? Oh what? my god! Genstone? You can't slide. You can't slide in my DMs and then do questions to like be like. Slide is, in your is DMs. Is Jerry your favorite? Um, I mean, but if who's I your may. favorite character? And you can't say me. That's the rule. We can't say each other. Okay. okay. Ah, sucker. Mm. Um. Well, I I liked Max too. Max I liked is Max a fun because one. it was it was there was it was interesting because at table read all he had to do was read the lines. That's all it. he had to do was say because they were so clever, yeah. so funny. Yeah. So you know, good writing makes good character. You know, and it makes it makes the actor's job so easy. And sometimes with uh, what I find with comedy too is you have to be able to identify of like, hey, this line lives on its own. It's fine. It doesn't need anything. Yeah, you and don't And the have lines to that you're it. like, oh, I this one need needs a little help. Right, yeah, right. yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I love Max too. Um, and then. I'm gonna ask you this question. Oh wait, we've already answered one of Anastasia's. Thank, thank you uh, to the fans yeah, for writing you, all guys. the questions. We really appreciate thank you. you. That is so sweet of um, you guys to take the time. Billy Rydell 27, or Billy underscore Rydell 27 asks, in your opinion, what was the weirdest storyline? Oh my God. Well, we've only rewatched a few. <laughs> no, I know, but there were some that were just like, what the hell? Yeah. There were some that were very strange. The... Do you remember? There, there are some episodes. Uh, there, I know there was one. Oh, what was it? There were some that I didn't. I just didn't enjoy because I felt like the joke fell flat. To be honest, the, the episode with Daryl Sabera, that one I felt like was not one of our strongest. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, as far and, as like storyline wise. Yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, how about every episode I wasn't in? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then there were some, and I, I mean, I love this stuff where. Like Selena and I went to like live on our own, but to me, like, I didn't like that it pulled us away from the ensemble. It became group. a different show. It became a different show. Yeah. Like I said, to me, that would make more sense as like a spinoff show mm -hmm. if she and I ended up doing like a spinoff show. Um, yeah, because you you became like Laverne and Shirley. Totally, kind of thing, totally, you know? and it was a fun storyline for us. Yeah. I just didn't like the fact. So it's not that I didn't like that storyline. I just didn't like the fact that it pulled us away from everybody else. Yeah, because that's what I loved about the show. The first three seasons was it was so much about our ensemble and it was so much about us rather than everybody off on their own little adventures. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, in the future, I in watching this, I will point out. Uh, or hearing that question, I'll point yeah. out a storyline in in the future because I, you know, we did 109 episodes, so I'll I'll rewatch and then see. Yeah, we'll which come back to that. One. That's was, a good question. Um, so Courtney underscore Violet 24, did you ever film on location? Yes, we, we did, did one, the one time. baseball episode, right? We were, yeah. it was baseball yeah. and we went out and, and the, there was so many trucks and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was great. And then Disney was like expensive. Yeah, expensive. So we're not doing that again. Yeah. But it was like, we were, uh, we erased everybody's memory or, or something like that. Yeah. Something in the like baseball that. thing. But yeah, so Can it was, you tell we haven't gotten to rewatch that episode yet? We haven't. <laughs> that we're like the baseball one. But, but. Uh, uh, it's it's there was a moment in that episode yeah. where I get an idea and there's literally a light a bulb above my yeah, head that goes on. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember it. That was great. Um, so Desiree Marie Cortez has a comment. She says, "You guys should decorate the podcast room as the lair from the show. Love you guys." So this is our attempt at kind yes. of touching on the lair. And, um, and that, that was it. Looks very much like the window yeah, that which we had. which you guys can't see is we've got like a brick wall we've got there's like that window kind of that was like that i know it's not exactly and we have some wizards pictures but they didn't uh, unfortunately these. we couldn't steal everything from right. set <laughs> a menu we've or got like, a, uh, 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 pictures from you the know, show and um from the first curtain call yeah. yeah yeah a picture from the first curtain call one of the like some of the things that really stick out to me from the lair was the medieval like body yeah thing what that was, was like that? a cab it was yeah. just a cabinet yeah um and then my, maybe some of like the drawers and like books and yeah, stuff. yeah my uh the lazy boy I could where i could sit oh and my take god a nap. we all took so many naps <laughs> in that chair i thought i know we fought over it over who got that chair and then nobody did so disney disney got the um, chair sydney uh cord Excuse me if I'm butchering this. Sydney Cord, K W A R D. Uh, what was your favorite thing about working with Selena Gomez? What was your favorite thing about working with Selena? She was pretty professional, you know. Oh yeah. I, her timing was great. I, 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 I don't. Uh, good story, bad story. But when I was, I keep saying this. You're gonna make fun. What? When I was directing. Oh God. Um, we're, when. 
how you speak to an actor and yeah. get uh, across the, the information as quickly and as efficiently as you can mm -hmm. so that you can move on because it's all time, yeah. you know. Um, I let her be herself, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I was trying to, I was sitting Which on the Which was floor. the best thing you could it have done. It was cold, there was a heater was the there, I remember this, done. and I was talking to her and I was like discussing this thing and, and she listened for a little bit and then I saw her kind of glaze over a little bit and I was like, Wait a minute! I'm 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 pushing myself. I yeah. I should let her be her. Yeah. In this. Yeah. You know. She flourished when people did that, and so even now, when people let her just do her thing, because she's got great instincts. Am amazing, yeah. amazing timing. And I've said this in the past that you know she had watched Friends, and there was a lot yeah. of that you could see that in her her performance, but. For me, the moment that was really nice is in the Quinceanera episode, we, we got to have like a father-daughter dance. Yeah. There was like a real sweet thing that, that yeah. happened there that was that was very uh, touching to me, you know? How about you? I, yeah, I, one of my favorite things about her um, and working with her, I'll say working with her because I have a lot of things that I love about her as a person, but um, is she balanced being able to have fun on set with being professional and to find that in somebody that is was as young as we were was pretty unbelievable because it's hard to find that like it's, it's easy to find people and i was always the, like we need to focus we need to be more professional it's hard to find someone who can do both and she was always really good about keeping it light and, and the levity on set and having a great time but also like getting it done turning it on when she needed to yeah and I mean, she all the time with like the technical stuff, because I get so in the moment that I forget like, where's my mark? And I'm like way off the side of the set. She was always like, you're upstaging me. You're on the you're on the wrong mark. And I'm like, oh shit, she's right. Because like I said, I was so focused on the acting that like the technical, so she balances the technical, the enjoying the process and the acting all really beautifully. So yeah, from a professional standpoint, that's what I loved. Roger, and she also knew her lines so quickly. She's like a, she's she was a consummate professional. Memorizing things that were- uh, When just warm and lovely to be around, but- The best. Uh, do you want to hear a funny story though? I do. We're talking about a small world. So I, I grew up, um, maybe five, ten minutes from Selena back in Texas and really? never met her. I didn't her. know that. Yeah, I never met her. I That's knew crazy. Demi because Demi Lovato because right. we'd, we'd, um, we'd auditioned together before and we'd taken like the same acting class because there's only so many in Texas. You didn't audition for Barney. Did I did. You? That's you did. the story I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so I auditioned for the Barney that both of them were on. Right. But I, <laughs> I threw my own audition because they asked me to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and I and I asked them, when does this shoot again? What's No, you did not. Because because it was gonna interfere with my art class oh, that wow. I wanted to take. So I just pretended to not know how to sing the words to Twinkle Twinkle oh Little God, you Star. Tanked your I audition for my, Barney. My mom and to my mom was so pissed. She was like, if they asked you to sing Hit Me Baby one more time, you would have gotten the words Did for that. Did you really say that? She totally said that. <laughs> so but now all these years later, which then at the time I got to go to art class, who cares? Like I had much better time at art class, like uh -huh. painting birds or whatever right, I did. Right. But um now I look back at it, I'm like, how weird would that have been? If we were all on that show together, yeah. But anyway, I, it's, that's just like a fun little aside. But I how never, small I of a never world auditioned is that? for Barney. You should have. Can you sing "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star"? I, I just can't, I can't. I still sing. don't know the I words. Can't sing. I still don't know the words. Um, <laughs> have you? Oh, Jonas Brothers Twenty Five um, asks a very surprising question with that screen name. Sorry, Jonas Brothers Twenty Five. It was too easy. Um, have you ever been to a Selena Gomez concert throughout the years? Okay. We all. The answer is yes because we all no. went to one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The first one the at the very Roxy first on Sunset. One, mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, when it was Selena in the scene. Yes, I yes. remember going so, to that. It yes. was like during the day, mm -hmm. and I, I was like, "How are we going?" And it was to her. A and I remember she was like so, so nervous because she was playing with the band and she was still working at the Kinks. Now, like it took maybe five seconds for her like Hollywood Records to be like to the to the to the scene. Right. But and then it was just Selena, but the the performance was was great. Yeah, um, new. I mean, you could tell. You that could it tell was they new. were working on Kings. Yeah, and um, I, yeah, I remember that. Uh, but I had I have not seen a big. I haven't concert. seen. A, I haven't either. I. This is weird, but I wanted her to invite me. I didn't well, want to be one of those yeah. people going, hey, can I get tickets? Hey, can I come I to the show? That. Hey, can I have this? Hey, can I have that? I wanted her to say, hey, I want you to come to a show. 
And she never has. I know. Same. But also, too, at the same time, too, like, I look at it this way. Like, that's her day at the office, right? Of course. So it's like, you know, I would rather see her going out to dinner or, like, hanging out with her than yeah. seeing her at work. I... You know, because we did that. Yeah, I chose, and I think I saw this with my brother Peter and Johnny Depp, because they were on 21 Jump yeah. Street together. I think you dropped that, these. I'm sorry. Did I drop that? <laughs> Hello. Um, but, you know, I, I saw people asking Peter to ask him stuff, you know? Mm. And I was like, uh, people ask me It feels me about, weird. Well, it I, feels weird. I didn't want to ask her anything because I didn't want to be in that uh, that group, in that uh, category, yeah. you know? So I, maybe I did like a little test thing, but, you know, I have seen her perform. We, yeah, we both have. But, but I haven't been to like a big concert or No, I, I haven't either, but for the same reasons. Because to me, I'm like, she has enough people in her Wait, life. You haven't have, either? No. No, I've never been to one of her like big production shows. Wow. Um, because... Again, like there, there have been large spans of time where I haven't seen her, yeah. and the first time I see her in a few years, which thankfully I've seen her more recently than yeah. that. But like over the years, there were some big blocks of time, yeah. and I wouldn't, I would want to actually talk to her and catch up with her than and see her in passing her. Yeah, at a yeah, show. Yeah. You I know mean, what I mean? It just felt weird. I, I totally agree. You know? I totally agree with that. Um, and it's, it's, yeah. It's it's very uh, uh, interesting. I don't know if that was the right thing or the wrong thing because well, you know, it's I mean, not like she doesn't still tour. Yeah, and like make music and stuff. Yeah, no, we should ask her about that to be like, hey, did it ever bother you that we never came to your? Because that that to me would be my first thought was like, did it ever upset you that we didn't ask to come? I don't know. I, yeah, it's interesting. It's a real kind of catch twenty two. Like you don't want to bother somebody. It feels like a damned you know? if you do, damned if you Listen, don't. Listen, okay, so this is Stop different. Stop yelling but in, at me. I'm sorry, but this is in a different zone. One of the biggest fucking pet peeves that I had on the show okay. was people would say, hey, we want to come and watch the Wizards, you know? Everybody wanted to come. I, know. I had my four dad, seats. Yeah. My dad started giving tours to people. Oh, really? They were like family friends or like people he worked with, like coworkers and stuff. But he would be over on like the Sweet Life set being like, so this is Zach and Cody. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't even know them like that. Stop it. Uh, like, knock it off. You uh, know? It was just weird. It was tricky. Um, yeah. Because everybody- my dad, So my dad loved that. But yeah. I hate, I, it, was, it was awkward for me too. But but you, we were all allotted like four seats mm -hmm. or whatever, and they, you know, uh, uh, you know, and they had to come. You know what I mean? They had yeah. to come. But yeah. every once in a while, some somebody like my brother Michael's friends were going to come, right? And then they they're like, oh, we can't come tomorrow. Can we come next week? And I'm like, are no. you fucking crazy? It's booked up for two months. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, you know, you 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 lost your chance. See, I I had the opposite. I would have friends that would ask to come on that I'd be like yeah of course and my dad's like no 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 those tickets are spoken for I'm like dad what the fuck like what are you charging people what is this <laughs> that would have no. been good we could have charged I could have made no, so much money it was embarrassing it was like I said he was giving tours on sets that weren't ours he was giving tours on like the Sweet Life set I was like dad stop it that's really funny it's awful I go in my dressing room I'm like who are you get out I yeah. have to change I mean I don't want to complain but I even tried to hire I mean uh, um, my friend Alicia mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, started helping me like every once in a while picking up the kids yeah and then I said to her, I said, can you schedule the, it the people in the thing? It becomes a lot. It becomes a lot. And it, 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 no, no fault of hers. Yeah. But she wasn't really able to, to take that over. But it was, yeah. oh, my God. That was a, you know, acting in the show, directing the show. I just was did too so much, much going on. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I don't um, know why I did like this You just became share. share. I did. Yeah. I did. I felt it, too. I was like, oh. <laughs> Feels good to be share for five seconds. Um, okay. So uh, Jake Joseph Marks asks, what was the show originally going to be titled at first during the early production stages? And we've talked about this, The Amazing O'Malley's. Yes, exactly. Where Sans, where, Jake, and David DeLuise. And, and it was about a magic shop, mm -hmm. and Selena and David were twins. Mm -hmm. um, and there were some other actors on it. And I think Dallas Lovato, who's Demi Lovato's sister, was in the pilot. Really? I think so. Oh, wow. Again, that could be my memory going, but like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure. I, first time I met Demi was Selena had a karaoke birthday party. Yeah, and she or, showed everybody up. Well, she was singing. I, I was like, <laughs> who is this? And, and I, I hope this yeah. is okay to say, but she she had a very large gap in her in mm. her teeth. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. She held on to that as long as she could because Disney wanted her to get rid of it. I know. she Because they she all came over to, it, to the that house. that was her, like, you know. And yeah. she was like, I'm never going to get rid of the gap. And, and yeah. her, her family... Um, her 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 mom was a little more boisterous mm -hmm. than uh, she was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. It, she was very loud, <laughs> which coming from you, that's saying something. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. For you to call somebody loud, oh man! But I was like, 
who's the loud woman? And they said, it's the Demi's tiny, mom. Loud and I was lady. like, oh, wow. But but Demi was yeah, singing Diana. and her, her voice was it's like amazing. angels. I was like, oh She's my God. She's always been that way, by the yeah. way. Ever since we were kids, like even little, little kids, like yeah. in acting class, her voice was always incredible. I was almost sad when she got rid of the gap because I that know. means you, you kind of conform. I mean, it doesn't matter. I know, but she held on to it for a long time. Yeah. She held on to it for a really long time. But yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Um, And then, okay, let's ask maybe... I mean, we got to ask the, the, the... What's your favorite spell? Well, no, nobody <laughs> asked that. They asked me, uh, there's a couple people that asked me about my favorite outfit, um, which that one, I know everyone's favorite is the Rotates marker dress. Changes but it changes. Mine feeling. changes all the time because I had so many good ones. So my favorite outfit today um, was probably the one where I have like the tiger a little safari outfit because that made my job so much easier. I could talk to it and I could make jokes with oh it. Oh my God, that's It funny. made my I, job so much easier. I have to say my favorite outfit of yours was the ducky one where there was oh, the ducks where they all over. Those? Yeah. Um, okay, last question and then we'll get out of it. And of course, I just lost her screen name, which is really great. I think it's Nicola underscore Summers. Will there be a reboot or reunion? Um, Everybody loves this question. Hold on. Let me call Selena. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling on my wand. Uh, Selena, wait, yeah, oh, it's Selena. Can I get? Can I give yeah. the? Can we do a reboots? Um, uh, yeah, listen. yeah. How do you answer this Everything question? Everything is uh, yes, of course. We want to do it, and, yeah. and and it would be silly not to I do agree. some kind of reboot thing. And uh, you know, as far as I know, Selena wants to do most it. Of, uh, all yeah. of the main cast. From my understanding, for the most part, want to do a reunion. Yeah. It's just a matter, and this is what I tell everybody: it's just a matter of having the right story to tell and, and timing, and timing, yeah, and timing. And because honestly, like I said, I was not kidding when I said coordinating to get us together for dinner yeah. is hard enough, much less coordinating uh, to get us together for like a week, two weeks to shoot a reunion. Right. You know. So, um, so when we have the right story and the right timing, yes. And I know all of you are like, boo, we hate that answer, but that's all I got. For you, I'm sorry. We want to, and uh, we're you know we're hoping that that it happens. Yeah, it would be great. It's from Care Bear Benson. Hi, and Care it Bear. Says, are Harper and Alex gay for each other? <laughs> Is there, your laugh is giving a little like. You know what's interesting hmm. to me? No, Harper and Alex are not gay for each other. They're well, friends. What does that mean? But, what does that mean that you care about each other? I mean, but I mean, uh, no, that's not how I read it. But maybe. Um, no, for me, I, a lot of you know what's been really cool after the show is a lot of people have told me that like Harper was their like gay awakening or she's like a gay icon, which I'm like oh, honored nice. by. Yeah. Because I mean, the LGBTQ plus like community is incredible yeah, and like some like my friends are members and and if, my, i don't even know if that's how you say it of like members but right you know that's such like that sounds like they have jackets that's not good um but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh we all get what you're saying thank and you yes but I, like I but, it's, but it's an honor yeah. like i never even thought of that and like I, i've had uh, you know some some people tell, tell me that of like oh harper is like a gay icon and like she was my sexual awakening and i'm like i'm just honored i didn't know anyone would want to have sex with me when I'm dressed like a cactus <laughs> but I'll take it I'll take with it with a third nipple well a cactus with a third nipple oh god oh god so Amelia Pret asked what was it like filming alongside Bridget Mendler who played Juliet on the show <laughs> she was great she no you know what I remember I remember it was always I, sorry Selena I'm gonna kind of you know I, I'm saying this about Selena because I'm so gonna if Selena's listening Bridget. right now Selena Plug your she's ears. Not, she's busy. She's not listening. She's very busy. Uh, she might be. I don't know. Um, I'm so but, curious what you're going to say. No, because Selena always frustrated me in school because she would be talking about whatever, like, boyfriend she was dating or she'd be taking a nap or she'd be wanting to show me something. And I'm like, I need to focus. I don't want to be in school all summer. Right. Stop. And I was always in school all summer anyway because just we only sh allowed for so many hours to do school. So I always inevitably fell behind. Um just with timing and Bridget was so her parents were so studious I think they're both like professors like and she was always so smart and so driven and so to have another student in the classroom that was actually focused <laughs> and like really wanted to work on school with like at the same that I did right. rather than like Selena which like I said I, I love her but there were many times in school where I was like I really need to focus on this thing and she's like so anyway so no like you know and I just you know it drove some of our studio teachers crazy that like well they we all they focus. all left right well, except not for all one of them, not yeah maybe one or two some of them had other reasons it wasn't just us that drove them away I but, remember that you know and she but went that was she was so sweet and so smart amazing and, and like, good luck Charlie was, yeah was great and and 
uh, Bob Duncan. Duncan, it was the, their last name when the thing, Eric, uh, um, the guy who played the dad. Oh, on, on Good Luck Charlie? Lot, I'm compared to him a lot. There's oh, a lot okay. of like, who do you, do you like honestly, Bob or do you like Jerry? To, you know? I'll be perfectly frank. After I was on Wizards, I never watched another Disney show. Okay, so I've well, never seen an Luck episode. I Good Luck Charlie, which I thought was yeah. great. It was a no, great show. And that cast is amazing. Yeah, and like she, everybody was, on the cast. she was so sweet. I remember very specifically that I think her parents in the show owned an ice cream shop or something and Maybe. I just remember uh, uh, choking we, yourself no wearing a scarf oh. wearing a scarf because <laughs> I was I was so concerned I just remember yeah, I'm, I'm holding my throat everybody no but I, I think I think I was scared of of them and they I wanted ice cream but I didn't want to be eaten oh that's you know? that's that was the gag we, we're gonna get to rewatch that episode okay, guys okay. it's been a few years but she was great she, she was we should great. have her on the show oh this is speaking of karaoke with Demi um so official mark moji official underscore mark moji where how do people come up with these I don't know uh what are your go-to karaoke songs I have one do you have one go-to karaoke song anything that I don't sing I'm not a singer I can't what sing what song is that uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a you talk song. You go up there and give like the Gettysburg no, address. I'm telling what are you, doing? you, like if I go to karaoke, I don't sing. I just go in the background and I dance, silly. You bring maracas. I uh, bring a maraca. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a singer, so I, yeah. I mean, like I said, no, I well, I, I, I grew up doing. What like, do you sing? Well, I grew up doing musical theater, but I hate it when people get up and they just use it as an excuse to be like, "Look how good I am." I think it's so lame. So for me, I think it's really funny, and one, and I love Salt and Peppa. The rap group, <laughs> so um, none of your business is my go-to one. Okay. And I and I I will toot my own horn. I slay that fucking song. Can you sing some of it now, or What's, just one? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody does that. Um, I, I have to have a couple drinks okay. in me. I gotta have a couple drinks for the in drink me to do for it. the when we're doing a for show the, where we're the, drunk. For the boozed yeah, episode. For the boozed episode. <laughs> Bo- boozed wizards of Waverly Park. <laughs> but that's really embarrassing for me. Like again, I'm dyslexic, yeah, so enough. reading out loud is very difficult for me. Oh, and, and I'm a singing. dick. I'm sorry. I no. completely didn't even connect those two uh, no, things. But, but the it's okay. Singing. You can say I'm a dick. People I am. always want me to sing. Yeah, and I'm not a singer except for my wife. But you have singing and pretend singing. Well, but it's your wife. You've got to. Yeah. You've got to sing for her. You know what it is? It's like the old luck be a lady like that kind of just silly okay. so like, like the crooner silly. talking yeah, stuff i don't know why song. i have maracas now <laughs> um oh uh papita uh, underscore seven uh how long did it take uh to record the film yeah so well I, the wizard was a month was it a month? Yeah, we were. We I were was in, only there for three days, so yeah, I don't which remember. Was bullshit. You should have been a part of that movie so that much was, more. That was a Disney that thing. That was a tricky thing. Do the because, Dis- do the Disney. Mm, Disney. Because I can't do it. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's it's so true though. Because they, I remember them being like, "We want to focus on the family and the contest," you and Harper's the, not a part of that. That's Fuck bullshit. Off. You and should it, have been I there, fe- but it, you know what? It Somebody, felt like shit. I'm not gonna lie. Peter Marietta had to come in there and massage that script. The first script that I read. If you guys uh, could David, see the massaging David hand Henry gesture saying, he's making right now. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'm sorry. David Henry was saying stuff that Jake would have said. I know. Selena I know. was saying something that this. And well, I mean, Peter had to come in and really go, uh, have you even watched the there show? Was a, there was a lot that felt like it came more from Disney than from our like creative yeah. core. Yeah. But it was, it was, I did have a good time being in Puerto Rico. And that was the first time. Uh, because I think we shot uh, that in between season two and three, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and w- w- we got mobbed at the hotel. Like we had to go out the I back. Remember that? I and remember. I was like, "Holy shit, we've yeah. been like the Beatles." Like I said, I, not, I popped in and me, out for but, like you know. three days, and I remember it being yeah. like that. It was and pretty there was crazy. gambling there. I bet two hundred dollars. I won two hundred dollars, and mm-hmm. then I lost four hundred. So call it even. <laughs> it was just pretty. <laughs> Let's up, call so the whole okay. thing off. Um, so to the answer the question, it was a, a month that we shot. Mater.cp ask, what things did you take from the show? Or, or, or excuse that, me, what things you take from the show? That's what they said. That napkin dispenser, yeah. this this uh, menu. menu. It was hard. Nobody can see where we're Oh, and I stole the jacket that was on set. You stole a lot of wardrobe clothes. I didn't steal. Like, they gave me the wardrobe. They were like, you sure. have to buy it. And then, I went and in the store and they gave me. this to me. I would have taken yeah. so much more stuff. I know. I, mean, I know. I, I, I was so focused on Harper's costumes because to me, I was like, oh, I got to have those. They're right. such a part of this experience. Yeah. But I for, I forgot everything else. I don't have a back of the chair. I don't have anything from the sub shop. I don't have, like, I, I should have expanded my 
but I was so laser focused on Where Harper's is Clothing. all that stuff? It's where in, they... it is wrapped up in my, oh, the stuff from the show? Yeah, like where did they put all those things, you know? You know, in Adam's basement, I don't know. Oh, God, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina Ver, Virgia, Virgili? God bless yeah, you. Valentina, <laughs> Valentina Virgili asked, did you ever have a crush on the set? Every week. You me, had a crush. Me, yes. Every one of Selena's oh love God, interests. I had a crush. I did. I did. We did you who was she did you have a crush uh, the, on? The, she was Rachel. Uh, uh um I, I asked her out. We went on one date. It was terrible. Dratch? Uh, uh I don't remember her last name. She was the like fairy. She was like oh, a fairy oh, or whatever. Oh, okay. I was like, Dratch, what? Um No, I, I vaguely remember her. You guys went on a date and it went bad? Yeah, I don't think she knew it was a date. Oh no. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Oh God! You know that happens. Yeah. You're like, hey, you want to go and do the thing, and you know. But, I, but, I had something like that with Austin Butler. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. When he was on the show, yeah, I because I, we he was a big movie buff, which was something that we really loved. Um, and I had a friend that worked with him recently, and she's like, oh yeah, he's a huge movie buff. Which, yeah, he's a sweetheart. But so I I was like, we should go get a movie, whatever. And this was, I think, Blockbuster still existed. Oh, Netflix. Wow. No, maybe it was Netflix when they still like sent out DVDs. Right. We're not that old. Okay. Um. But I he am, like I'm that old. But he, but he like came over to the house and like we like went over. We went somewhere to get snacks and so stuff. So you did like a Netflix and chill kind maybe of, before but Netflix it was not and chill that was a for thing. Him. It right. was not that for him uh, at all. It. But we watched Swimming with Sharks, which was great. Uh, 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 yeah, we're with the uh, Whaley. Uh, Fra- Frank Kevin Whaley. Spacey. Yeah, Kevin Spacey, yeah, yeah. but the, the lead guy who oh, was the kid. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Whaley, I can't. Yeah. I don't know if Austin was one of these people, but this happened to me a lot, which was really shitty. I would always have crushes on ever, like all of Selena's boyfriends, because ever since I was like a wee little child, I've, I've been, I've, I've liked the, the men's. But, <laughs> but um, a lot of times what would happen is the guy would talk to me and we'd have a great time and I'd feel like, oh, like this is going well. And then at the end of the week, they would uh, pass me their number to give it to Selena. What the fuck? And it was fuck so all shit. Those guys. I don't think I don't think Austin was one of those people, but a lot of guys did that, and it that's, was really shitty. That's and bullshit. it took me a lot of years to get my confidence up with dudes, but now I'm doing okay. Um, anyway, that was a joke. Cry, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> um, last question. Okay, last question. This is a good one. This was a good one. Um, this is, well, Curtis Baldwin, 56, asked, do I love Dallas Cowboys? I don't have a choice. It's my birthright. I have to. Um, from Texas. Um, okay. That's not the last question. Okay. Uh, this is also from Valentina, uh, Virgily. Um, it's just a really good question. That's why I'm doing two of hers. Uh, in your opinion, why was the show so popular? What was the strength point of the show? The, uh, Ensemble. Yeah, the ensemble. Yeah. The fact that we all, you know, uh, um, it, it, like a good meal, Every little different spice has to go together. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, so where is he going we with had, this? We had all the little spices yeah. that, that came in. We had the know? 11 herbs and spices. Yeah, that's what I think. And the, but it was the writing and the, you know, I, I, yeah. I really think that we had a really it, good foundation. I, I agree. I, I think for for me too, this the thing that made the show so special was... I felt like we tried to hold on to what we did the first season, which we made it for us. Mm-hmm. We never made it worrying about what people would think or or trying to give, like, we wanted to give people what they wanted, but it was never made for other people. It was made for us loving what we do and loving the people we got to work with. And we with. had fun. When you have fun on set, exactly, it comes across. Exactly. You know? And that was something, too, is we had such a blast with each other, and we, and we all raise the stakes on each other's game of like wanting to be the best we could be rather than phoning it in which I had friends on Disney shows and they phoned it in that they were over it out. they got sick of it hello oh my god yes yes I'm, I'm talking into the wand I'm phoning it in everybody oh my no. god oh boo you. there's the door it's <laughs> awful <laughs> come on oh my god um we we got yeah. lucky we did. We, we got, got very lucky. lucky, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get lucky again. That would be really fun to yeah. do more. Yeah, to get know? to do a reboot. That would be nice and bring everybody back together. But anyway, this thank has you been... to all the fans yes. for all the questions. That was so great. Thank you for taking the time and and uh, uh, reaching and out. Thanks for loving the show and yeah. and and giving us a reason to come back and reminisce about it so yeah. thank you thank you to all the fans and to everybody who sent questions and those who didn't we'll catch you on the next round yeah and now we're very busy we gotta go oh my god <laughs> oh my god all right i'll see you next week bye Del Luis. Bye, bye guys bye everybody you guys thank you so much for being here and if you want some bonus content join our patreon love you